On my first admission, when they put me in the bath and they poured shampoo and some other ingredient over me, I thought they were dying my skin white. And I fought and almost knocked the nurse into the tub. You know, we were tough guys and, and we got so much going on, you know. I'm a player, you know. I sell dope. Uh, I pimp hoes, that's the way, you know, they be talking all that kind of talk. These are the proving grounds. And you talking that talk, you got nothing to show for it, you going down. You know, that's, that's the way I see it. If you ain't got nothing to show for it, even me, you know, and trying to make it, you know, there's no guarantees. The patients are so often in splendid isolation in a maximum security setting. And there are all kinds of opinions about the first people who are mentally ill, and particularly about people who have been found not guilty by reason of insanity. I thought of as uh, very much like the movie The Silence of the Lambs. And the best way to change that perception is to find some way where people really are going to interact and to find a way that they're interacting, not as individuals who are giving something to the poor, misbegotten, but uh, are sharing uh, something, sharing a common interest. Lens and Pins is art therapy and it's not art therapy. It's not formally uh, set up to be a therapeutic intervention. But because art is so powerful and because genuine dialogue and connection between people can be so therapeutic, it turns out being a vehicle for change and growth to take place. It was born as a bridge between being an inpatient, so absent and estranged from society. Now our expression, our talent, and our gifts will be an expression to approach the community. We try to look at the John Howard Pavilion in different ways, see the light, see how objects and people move through it, and just give people an opportunity to be creative in their environment. I mean, it's all kinds of things you can do with pictures. And Pictures, all, you know, it's always something there to, to, to take a picture of because there's always something there, you know. The gym, how the shadows in the gym. And the size of the paper started getting bigger, started getting bigger. Uh, and now, as you can see, now he's always looking for a canvas bigger. He indulges in all things acrylic paint, big brushes, little brushes, big canvases. I started seeing how the more artwork he created, the more capable he was to talk both about that artwork in tangible terms, but also to talk about all the other stuff in his life. I plan to change completely from my, my present concerns. I plan to move forward, uh, maintain my optimism about the future, though I'm 59, and it seems though the future is already here. All that time I used to stay locked up, wishing I was out in the sunshine. I'm out here. I'm actually here. And all I've got to do is keep the pieces in place, and I can stay out here.